<laughs> we gotta have a little picnic, buddy. Yeah. Riker takes his blinky everywhere with him. <laughs> you wanna have your lunch first? Yeah. Riker brings his blinky everywhere, and so he's got like mulch all over it. That's good. This poor blanket needs to be washed. It is filthy. Riker, is that good stuff or what? You're just like handfuls into your mouth. Look at that belly. Oh, and cheese. Oh, so good. <laughs> At the same time. What did you find? I found a frog. Oh, let me see him. Oh, a little cute little toad, huh? Uh-huh. Cute. Chaotic mess. After dinner, we had chicken thighs and drummies. Hey, you two, be nice. Thighs and drummies and corn and diced potatoes. Hi. Should we go to bed? Mike or John? You want to say hi? They haven't seen you guys in a while. <gasps> Can you say hi? Say hello. hello. Riker, look at mama. Come Riker, on. sit on your bum, you stinky boy. He's being such a stinker right now. Okay, he said, <gasps> Riker, say hello. Hello. Oh, it's my favorite thing he says. Riker. Let's see. Let's see if I can get him to do it with me. Come here. What's this? What's this? Come here. Hello. Who is that? <laughs> Whoa! Well, that was like really quick. Riker, come here. I wanted to show them. Come here, stinky boy. Come here. Riker! Come here. Come here. Oh, blinky. Gotcha. Can you say hello? Can you say it? Say hello. Say hello. Who is that? Riker. Can you say hi? Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hi that way. Say hello. Hello. Oh, I wish he would say it. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. He'll go, hello. And then, like his voice cracks at the end. I see you trying to escape. No way. Come here. Bye. Just wave. Can you just wave to me? Hold that thought. I got him. Okay. Here. Wait, I have. There is a fake phone downstairs. Can you say hello? Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Say hello. 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 Okay. Kai, can you, honey? Go pick that up because there's a bunch of coins over there that was in that little doctor purse. Did you just? It's Kaya. This farted in my face. Which one of you I did, did not? That? <laughs> was it you? No. Was that you? No. Your little... Was it Riker? Yeah. <laughs> there's no dignity. <laughs> it's Kaya. It's gone. Our kid says no man. It's Kaya. All right. I swear, it is Kaya. Okay, it is about 7.30. My other two sisters will be here around 8 o'clock. I'm gonna go put Stinker to bed. And... Oh, can I show you my frog? Isn't that a great thing? A great thing. What, you still have the frog, Kai? You were supposed to let him go. No! Where did you have right. him? <laughs> I had him in this box. In the onion box with the <laughs> onion things? The bulbs? Honey. Okay, I think he might want to go home to his parents. Wait, he has parents? 
I bet he does. I you and Bryn, go let him loose and then come straight back inside. Bryn, will you go with to supervise that? Oh. <laughs> now we said it. Hello? 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 <laughs> That's my favorite. Hello? Hello? All right, all right, all right. Time for bed. Should get a baba and go to bed? My mom is putting Riker to bed because I had to deal with a frog meltdown situation. So that's good. Anyway, okay. So what I wanted to do is do this like way more vlog style for this evening and um, just kind of like talk with you guys and get you caught up in a bunch of stuff. You won't even see my face, that's good. Just get you caught up in some stuff, like life stuff. Okay, I suck at vlogging today. Life stuff and like Weight Watchers stuff and things like that. Anywho, all right. First things first is I want to show you a few things. It's a, like a little bit of a haul from Joann's and the dollar store. Um, I have two clips here that I recorded previously, which I'm going to include right now for you because I got some really, really cute um, pieces for like super cheap, obviously like Dollar General was like super cheap and Joanne Fabrics because I had to go there for some Cricut stuff, which I'll fill you in on in a minute. Um, but they had like a bunch of stuff that was 80% off and it was super cute. So anyways, I'll insert that footage right now for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna start off today's video with doing a little bit of a Dollar General haul. I was really excited. I don't have a Dollar General in my area, but I do over at like near my lake cabin. So I stopped at Dollar General and I got some really fun stuff and I wanna share with you guys. Um, the first thing that I got was this laundry sign. Um, I saw my friend, I believe my friend Kaylin got this from Dollar General here on YouTube as well. And I thought it was so cute and I just went so well with the theme of our house. So I'm going to stick this in the laundry room um, and I'm gonna kind of cutesy it up. I'm gonna get more baskets for in the laundry room as well so that it's just, it's put together more. As you guys know, I'm trying to make it a little bit more farmhousey in here so it's not as modern because right now I definitely have like modern farmhouse feel going um, with a little bit of like boho. But I'm trying to, I can't like put into words what I'm trying to envision, something with just a little bit more like chippy paints and a lot more like have these like black and whites um, and like canvas pictures, things like that. So I got that for the laundry room. And then in their like spring home decor section, they had everything 50% um, off. So I ended up scoring these super cute glasses. They've got like the bubbles on them. Like, like what is that called? Like the dot, the bubbly dot on the glasses. Anyways, these were a dollar and 50% off. So that was such a good deal. So I got each of these for 50 cents um, and I got four of them and they're actual glass. And then I picked up two of these little baskets that are like metal baskets. Um, but these were $3.50% off. So I got these each for $1.50. So I got all of this stuff for like less than, I think it was like $10.47 with tax. So it was a super good deal. Um, and I'm gonna put these on the shelves as I'm trying to incorporate like more farmhousey pieces. Um, and I'll put like little like vase filler or like little signs in these, they'll be super cute, so. Okay, I realized that I did not record my little Joann's thing. So I got this cute Bloody Mary towel from Joann's for like $2. It was like 80% off in the clearance section. I thought it was so cute and I love Bloody Mary's. So I got this like I said for a couple bucks and then I got these two little jars um, that have like these like leather things on them with these like metal buttons I thought they were so cute um, they were so this was like $20 and 80% off $20 for this jar yeah right I hate when stars like mark them up so much because I know that they're gonna have sales on them um, and then this one was $14.99 and 80% off. So I got them for a few dollars each. So I, whatever, like I think like $4.99 and $2.99 is what they rang up as. Um, I, the, I think that these are super cute. I am redoing, I'm sorry, my shelves are so dusty. Hello, I need another clean with me. 
Ugh, so gross. But we're actually, I can't decide if we're gonna be taking these pipe shelves down and just doing like plain floating shelves, but these are gonna be more of a driftwood color. Um, so this, um, like, this like cognac leather color is gonna be so beautiful on there. And I'm gonna do some fall arrangements in here and it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so let's chat a little bit about what I have going on. So, you guys, if you haven't seen my fall plan with me video yet, make sure that you go and check it out. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Um, I talk about my plan for my fall decor and I always get questions like, how do you decor decorate your house it's so cute for every season, etc., etc. And like, that's how I do it is I plan it out way ahead of time. I talk to you about my inspiration and some pieces that I think are going to be staples and trending this fall. So anyway, so head over to that video. But in that video, I also talk a little bit about signs. My friends and family who are here and watching know that I've been doing signs for a long time and burnt myself out on them. I had, or I have a Cricut machine, which I thought was broken at one point in time because like <laughs> it legit, it legit had like hot chocolate spilt on it and it just, mm. I've had my days with the signs. Anyways, long story short, I got burnt out on it because I was making so many and it just was super, super stressful. Okay, so anyway, I don't make signs for customers anymore. I, To be honest, I have kind of dabbled in possibly doing signs, seasonal signs. I will keep you guys updated. I do not want to open an Etsy shop again, um, but I am considering doing like a bulk batch we will see we will see I'm not making any promises but anyway let's talk science if you've not seen my sign DIY video I will also have that link down below for you guys because I have a really good step-by-step -step tutorial you can make these signs for legit like ten dollars or less and if it's like small you can make it for less than five dollars but um, quite a bit of work does go into them so remember that um, I use the Cricut transfer vinyl. That's what I, or excuse me, the duct tape transfer vinyl. I meant to say I do not use the Cricut transfer vinyl because it's so expensive. I use the duck brand, like the duct tape brand. We just get this from Menards um, and this is a like 24 inch by, I don't even know. It's like a, it's a 20 by 15 foot. At Walmart they have the perfect size which is like 12 inches by like X amount of feet. Um, but I use this for the transfer tape for signs and then um, and that's like to move your vinyl from the Cricut mat over to your sign and this is the vinyl that I use um, this I get off of Amazon it's like $25 for the entire roll um, but it's nice and thick and is really easy to transfer and I don't have any like bleeding issues with this trust me you guys I've literally made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of signs and this is the best vinyl that I have used. So highly recommend this. Oracle is a really good brand. Otherwise, I will have this one linked down below for you as well. But that DIY, I am starting on tomorrow with my mom. I've got two signs um, that we're gonna be making. Really quick, just in case you guys are thinking about doing that DIY yourselves, check out the DIY I already have on making signs. Um, and those are the materials that I use. Everything is linked down below for you. You are welcome because honestly, like I feel like like signs are such a big part of like my seasonal decor. Um, summertime, not so much. Summertime and springtime, not really. But when it comes to fall and Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas and all of that, like the whole, the best part of the year is my favorite. Um, anyway, I do a lot of signs. So, okay, go and check that out. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about just really quickly is my Weight Watchers. I've been getting so many questions. Um, a lot of you are noticing that I am starting to lose that weight. I am down a total of 15 pounds as of this morning um, over the entire course of the summer. So since the beginning of June until now, so about, I would say like about seven, eight weeks, I'm down 15 pounds total. Um, I've just been a lot more active. To be honest with you, I can't just attribute it to Weight Watchers. I would say that it is in combination with also like quitting my day job where I literally sat for 10 hours a day for four days a week. I just sat there 
And then I would come home and I would sit and I would edit. I just wasn't, I wasn't very active. And now that I'm home, I am running all over the place. And of course, like I still sit down and I edit and I go through my emails, but I would say like maybe four or five hours a day I'm sitting down. The rest of the time I'm running around and cleaning and I'm chasing after the baby and I go on a walk every single day. I go on a two mile walk every single day. I haven't been perfect on my Weight Watchers in the past um, like two weeks. Like I had some potato chips today. Um, I haven't been tracking it all this week while my mom has been here, um, but I've still managed to lose almost two pounds this week, which is super awesome. Um, anyway. So that's where I'm at in my Weight Watchers journey. I am still continuing it. Um, usually in the fall, like a lot of people diet in the summertime and the springtime, but I like to diet more so like in the fall and the winter because I'm stuck inside, guys. I live in Minnesota and after like November, it gets really cold and really like, <laughs> like the great white north here and you it just hibernate. Beautiful. It is not beautiful, it's <laughs> awful. I do not like the winter like i like the snow for christmas but come like january through like april because we still get have snow in april here in minnesota it is terrible it is terrible so but that is like when i do my dieting um and like really hardcore slim down which is kind of what i am like holding out for i'm enjoying my summer letting myself like have those really yummy grilled meals but i am slowly but surely losing the weight right now but like i said i think a lot of it is coming just from the fact that i am more active um and i i more so notice instead of like pounds i'm noticing inches like i'm noticing a lot of inches melting away which i'm super happy with but if I could leave you guys with anything, oh, you know, more so than like eating and like overthinking about it and Weight Watchers and all these things is just, just be, just, just relax, just be, okay? Like enjoy your summer, enjoy yourself. 80, 20, 80% of the time, like follow what, you know, a general like health, like diet guideline, but 20% of the time, let yourself have the hard seltzers, let yourself have a beer, let yourself have those fried potatoes or the funnel cakes or whatever it may be, let yourself have some treats. And then during the winter months when you literally have nothing else to do, that's when you can hunker down and really hone in on your weight loss. So. That is when a lot of my weight loss videos will start to come up for you guys. With that being said, I am going to have a video that I've literally been working on for like two and a half weeks now. Um, and that is like a massive, like what I eat in a day slash like recipe video for Weight Watchers. A massive video. It is going to take me a while to edit it. And I have, um, a refrigerator organization video going live on Sunday, which I'm so excited about. I'm so, so excited about that one. Um, I've been meaning to like organize my fridge for a while now. Um, and next week I have that what I eat in a day and recipe video. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but just know that there is a huge Weight Watchers recipe video coming out for you. You guys beg me for the cooking videos, so that is coming. Um, and then I also have that DIY video coming out next week for the fall signs because my mom and I will be working on them tomorrow. I am going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow with my sisters. Yes, I'm so excited, but I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna go fall decor shopping. And I'm pumped, I'm so excited. I'm ready to stock up on all of the good things and share it with you guys. It's gonna be great. I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram lately to do a hair tutorial. My hair doesn't, it does not look great right now, you guys. I was being sprayed in the backyard a couple hours ago by the kids. Like, they literally, like, right after I curled my hair, took the sprinkler and were like spraying me with it. But anyway, I have a t hair tutorial coming for you guys. I did one over on my Instagram a while ago, but every time I curl my hair, every time I wear it like this, I get a million questions. And I am going to share that hair tutorial with you guys next week i get like asking like my, like my get ready with me so i don't know maybe i'll do a chatty get ready with me or like day in the life or something like that um honestly i do not wear makeup though um most of the time so this is just me like fresh faced i always have my lashes done um and i have my eyebrows microbladed so i look like i might have makeup on all the time but i do not and i don't wear a foundation which is why my cheeks always look like this but Maybe I'll get all dolled up and show you guys the products that I do use when I do do my makeup. Do do, do do. 
I am going to leave the video there for today. I hope you enjoyed this little life update. Also, my shirt will be linked down in the description box because I know I'm going to get a ton of questions. I had so many questions on my Instagram today in regards to this shirt, and yes, I've worn this shirt two days in a row. Do I care? No, I do not. <laughs> I love this shirt so much, and if I could buy it in like several different colors, I would. But anyway, I will have that link down below for you as well. I will see you on Sunday for a refrigerator organization video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and I'll see you on Sunday, okay? Bye guys. <laughs>